Hey guys and welcome back. Well, uh, if you ever sell 3D models online, you're probably wondering what model sells the very, very best. Turns out to be furniture, right? So what we're going to do today is we're going to model a ball chair. Here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay guys, well we're in my 2019, let's get started with our ball chair, right? So we're going to start with a sphere, obviously. We're going to hit E to rotate, hold down J, and kind of find a suitable angle. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it up so we can see what we're doing. That looks about right. And then we're going to go in here, right click face, click and shift, double click to have an initial row here, and then hit shift period to increase that selection. So I would say about there, and open that up. And maybe even one more. I think that's a bit better, yeah. Okay, so now we have that, what we need to do is we need to um, extrude this guy, but we also need to duplicate it, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. I have it in object mode, obviously. Control E, and let's do 0 0.15, and let's see how thick that is. I think that will be just fine. Three to preview smooth, looks great. So we're going to want to go back, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W to move that out, like so and we're going to start to strip this down a little bit so i'm going to go in go into face select that hit shift period to increase that selection delete that outer wall and we'll hit this as well and delete that so that all looks good and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to take this little guy right here, delete that. We're gonna go in, we're gonna right click go to edge, double click on this one and double click on this, double click on this, double click on this, go to edit mesh and a bevel. All right, then we're gonna go in, go to face, select that and select that. And we're going to delete that. So we'll get something like that, right? Okay, so this is still one object. As you can see, we're going to hit Control E to extrude. And let's give this 0 0.1 thickness, maybe 0 0.25, like that. And then we need to fit this back into our chair. So we're going to go in here and we're going to hit W and we're going to move that back in. And let's see if we can make that fit nicely. We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's set that to zero. There you go. And it's now a perfect fit. And then we're going to go in here. And we're going to hit three to preview smooth that interior. Let's do the exterior first. Let's go in here to injured edge loop. Right, and I'll put one in here and one in here. Q on a keyboard, object mode, mesh and smooth. Looks fine, but we need to have more subdivision level than that. So let's hit two. That looks great. Then we got this guy here that we're gonna hit one to go back, and we're gonna tweak that one a little bit too. So we're going to hit W to pull that out again. And let's see what we need to reinforce and where. So insert edge loop. We'll put one here and one here. One there. One there. Q on a keyboard. Let's have a little trial run here. Let's hit three. And that looks very nice. Okay. 
So we're going to hit 1 to go back. We're going to go to Mesh and Smooth to actually smooth it. Let's do that on Subdivision Level 2 as well. Then we'll take it and we'll set Translate Value to 0 to push it back in like that. And now we need to come up with a pillow. Now that pillow is something we're going to do manually. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a, a polygon cube. Let's hit W. Let's move that out. Let's move that down here. And initially what we're going to do is we're going to start from here and follow that curve line. So what I'll do is I'll hit R and I'll pull it out. Then let's go in here and let's set 10 subdivisions in width, 10 in height, and 10 in depth. That should be about right. 4 for wireframe mode. And that is fairly useless. So let's see, we'll hide this guy. And it will give us some indication. So we'll go into vertex. And we're going to start to push that down. But this is most likely going to be a manual effort. And I might have too many subdivision levels. So let me just go back a little bit. That might be a bit better. All right, so we're going to pull this out. And w, move that in here like this. And then we'll right click, go to Edge. And we're going to double click and double click and double click. Let's push that down. Take the one in the middle. Push that down. Let's do a preview smooth, which will give us something like this. And at least we have a start. We're starting to get somewhere, right? So then we're going to kind of stretch this out at W. We're going to bring it in. And we are going to go to that middle edge. Hit the B for soft select. Move that down. like so and then let's see where you're going to hit B again good object mode let's flare that out a little bit okay then what we're going to do is we're going to go in to edge take this one hit B for soft select hit W pull that up So that's good. We're going to go into this one. And I think we're starting to get somewhere. We'll take this one and this one. Let's kind of relax that a little bit. Which will give us this. And then if we like, what we can try and do here, and I still got my soft select on, is to double click here. Actually, let's do that on vertex. That's easier. Click here. And we're going to kind of pull that out. Not here. Let's do this one. And then hold on B and drag that down a bit. And then we'll kind of follow that flow by selecting these. And then these. So 
So that looks kind of neat. And I think we might need to push these down just a bit. But other than that, I think that looks okay. We're going to hit B to turn that off. We're going to select this guy and go to Mesh and Smooth to actually smooth it. We'll set that to level 2 like we did everything else. So we have that cushion in there. We're going to go back to Display and Show All. So we've got the outer shell as well. We're going to take the whole thing. We're going to W. We're going to push this up. And now we need to have kind of a foot for this. So what we'll do there is we'll take a polygon cylinder, we'll hit R, we'll kind of pull that out, push that down, set the caps to zero, right click at the face, select that, select that and delete it. Take this guy, scale it in, and the base needs to be wide enough to keep its balance. So we'll do something like this. We'll take the whole chair and slightly raise that up. We'll take this guy, put it on the base, right click vertex, hit R to scale that in, go to edge mode, control E to extrude, W to pull up, R to scale in, G to repeat, push that up. R to scale in, G to repeat, W to pull up, and R to scale in, and then G to repeat, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push up. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to go in here to injured as loop and we'll push one in here we'll push one in here we'll push one up there and one there and one at the bottom q on a keyboard let's hit three to preview smooth looks great so we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth let's set that to level two like we did everything else all right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this, and that's going to be one material. So we're going to right click, go to assign new material. Let's do a Lambert. It's just a color ID mask, so it doesn't really matter what color it is at all. And then we'll take the cushion and the interior and assign new material, Lambert. Let's do red. There you go. We're going to drag select all of this. We're going to go to edit, delete by type history. We're going to go to modify and freeze transformation. And then we're going to go to file, export selection. And I'll save it on my desktop and I'll call it chair. Just export as an OBJ, right? Let's go into Keyshot. Well, there you have it guys. There's our uh, ball chair, uh, kind of fun little project. Uh, if you've got any other furniture related uh, questions you want me to do, please let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.